Okay, we're back here for part two on my rant about somatics. Somatic meaning about the body, but somatic education means inquiry, really inquiry. And so anywhere you see the word somatics being attached to repetitive exercise, an ending form, uh, such as a pose or posture, it means that you're not actually going to get the benefits that you get from somatic education. Somatic education, like the Feldenkrais method, really does movement experiments. It introduces novel sensation that requires that you ask yourself unconscious questions in order to be able to release gradually movement habits that no longer serve you well, movement compulsions, we could even call them, that no longer serve you well, and upgrade to something that will serve you better according to whatever you need. So whether you want to do a, be better at walking or better at standing, or you want to be better at reaching out to other people and talking to them or accessing your creativity, these are all things that somatic education can definitely impact and improve. Now my own three-part life series that's coming up, Reclaim Your Body and Recover from Pain and Limitation and Injury, will give you a super good taste of somatic education. So think about it, maybe sign up, whichever direction it is, and I'm gonna even have another little part three here to help you understand the importance of actually studying in a somatic education field, depending on what it is you want. If you want fitness, then you go do exercises. But if you want fitness without pain, you want fitness without injury, you want to up your performance. Hmm, let's talk about that in the next one.